play for the Nary Club as they run out onto the ground. Boys, have you spotted him? No, he's not. No, he's not. He's definitely out there. He's definitely out there. So, very interested in the uh, champion full forward who hasn't played since... Warren goal, Lee's there in McGavigan. McGavigan from Keysborough gets the knock into the forward pocket. All players over, rolling the ball. Sticks O'Halloran's kicked it off the ground. Nary second goal, four minutes into the game. Nary two goals, 12 lead. Keysborough yet to score. Gug Henwood, they're really running the ball well. Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay in the ruck for Nary's getting the ball out to his smaller players and they're, they're putting, them, putting themselves in, moving it quickly, handing off quickly, sharing around, looking good. As if, um, Suez gets the uh, ball onto Stevenson, over to uh, Sticks O'Halloran. Sticks O'Halloran for Nary into the centre of the ground where uh, marsden has got the ball and kicks his second for the game. Nary Warren running right. This is 97.7. I think his own player gave him a bit of a tap on the back of the neck and he thought he was having a go at him. The lead's on, it's Mather, it's a good lead and hits him on the chest. Too quick uh, for Marsham there, and Robbie Mather will uh, he'll kick from about uh, probably 30 metres, I say, boys, and good pass, and uh, Nary just waited to set up that. Uh, sorry, Keezy, go. Yeah, it was well played by Hunter, but I, I think uh, Nary could have a problem with uh, Marsham at full back on Mather, because as we spoke about him in the second semi, he's a quick move pass leading forward. That's right, he comes in now, kick seven in the second semi, and he snuck this one right through the middle for Keezy, for, uh, Nary. Atkinson uh, waits for a lead. He kicks long. Oh. It's about a 40-metre kick. He sets it up. Robbie Marsden's there. Tony Collins for Keysborough. It's kicked oh. off the ground by a drive, but Nicholas gets the ball oh, for Nary and kicks it through. All clear. Nary's fourth goal straight. And uh, this is 3SER, not to the outer side of the ground where Robbie Kane's there. But Peter Demick's oh. there. And uh, Robbie yeah. Kane cop one from Peter Lynch. Plenty of runners out the far side in the form of, uh, of uh, Burke Steve and Steve Burke. Burke. Steve Burke, 50 metres. To the forward line. Steve Burke, 50 metres out. Drop punt. It's going to go very, very close to the goal mouth. And up oh, over the back to Wire. Great lead. <laughs> and by final series, he's been a little bit under, underdone in this series. And I think this is a game that the Nary boys think he'll uh, lift his uh, performance by 10 or 20%. He's on a severe angle, 5 to 10 metres out. He kicks for goal and he's put it through and they needed that one. And Dwyer, that's a real good goal for them. They're 5-1, 31, leading uh, Keysborough, 3-6-24. Set up, there's plenty of movement. He's going to kick it long. He's kicked it high, looking for the big grab. Evans tries oh. the leap and gets oh. up high and nearly takes the grab. There's a push to Nary. There's a push to Nary. I don't know who's got the kick. Jeff Lee will get the kick. Jeff Lee, the big six-foot... Six has, foot four man. Has Brett Evans come down yet? <laughs> How he's high got, did he get? He's well, well over their shoulders. I'll I can tell you what, it. if he'd gone to Barcelona, he would have won the high jump. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Lee puts it through for Nary's six for Nary's six goal. The bouncy handball straight off over the far side to Murphy. Murphy looks to centre half forward. Chips in uh, his uh, marshal. He, he stops, well holds up the ball well, and gathers the ball in. And that's good defensive football by the uh, fullback for Nary Warren in the form of Darren Marshman. Great play by Marshman. Then he just. Well, he finds Robbie Kane right into the centre of the ground. He's got the runners. He dummies around Nicholas. He handballs off to Glynn. Glynn now looking. You better get rid of it, son. He kicks it into centre half forward where Rob Mason takes the mark. The ball fell short, held up in the wind, and he took a diving mark on his chest. Some 20 forwards playing in front. It's at the seven-minute mark of the second quarter. Machen taking his time, very deliberate. Head over the ball. Comes in. Kicks from about 30 metres. The umpire says, yes, I'll have that one. Thanks, boys. That's 4, 6, 30. He gets the ball from the centre. He handballs straight to the wire. The wire kicks in the, uh, in the direction of uh, Lindsay. But Marsden picks up and snaps. He's picked the ball up and he snapped the goal. And Nary Warren are on fire again. They're 7, 2, 44. Lead uh, Keysborough, 4, 6, uh, 4. But it's picked up by Atkinson, who kicks long towards uh, De Wire. And De oh, yeah. marked. Oh, yes, he certainly he's has. He's been given a free kick. And it's up the season, so we've probably been a little bit critical on him at times. Dwyer kicking for goal. It's a long kick, kick, and it's a great kick. In fact, as it got through, that's the big question. No, it's been touched, but that nearly went through. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. Oh. The umpire's <laughs> flapping his arms there, and he's decided he's going to call it a goal, which is a pretty good effort <laughs> from 50 metres in, on, the, on the line. Brown, Dwyer's there for Nary. He taps it along in front of him. He dummies around He dummies around Shepherd of Keysborough. He oh, kicks the ball kick. long, and that's got to be downfield, okay. and Brett Evans has taken the mark anyway, but I think the ball will be transferred downfield. Brett Evans, the boy that's been out of football for so long.
Nary Warren, Keysborough 5, 6, 36. It's at the 12 minute mark of the second quarter as Brett Evans on a very acute angle will kick from some 35 metres. He sets it up high. Yeah. It's long. The crowd behind. They like it. They cheer. Goal to Nary Warren. They go to 9, 2, 56. Keysborough 5, 6, 38. 97 point playing in front, and that's the difference at this stage. As uh, the ball comes back to centre field, O'Brien can't get a tackle. Robbie Marsden takes the spill, yeah. runs through the centre of the ground looking for Evans, but uh, the, and Evans gets it off the pack, he snacks it back over his head. Oh, it's a goal! 10 3, 10-3, 10-3 Nary Warren leading Keysborough 5 7 37. Brett Evans, a sensational snap. It's right on the 19 minute mark. Andrew Long. Ball to be returned. The scores here, Nary Warren 10-3-63, lead, key, lead Keysborough 5-8-38. And we're at the 22-minute mark of the uh, of second quarter. And no decisiveness there, although I think Lindsay might be getting himself a free kick here. And there's another yellow uh, report. And it's been a striking incident here, and I'm just trying to pick up. It's McGavigan, McGavigan striking yeah. Lindsay. Lindsay's holding his head, and he's not feeling too happy about it. The big question is, does he get a card? And if he gets a card, Keysborough are down to 16 players. And the way McGavigan's going, he's got a card. And this is going to be really, very crucial to ball. He cops a heavy one from Maloney. Maloney picks up the ball. He lines up the goal from 40 Great metres play. out. Has he got one? Great play. What's the umpire say? The goal umpire says six points. And a great goal of the champion centerman from Nary Warren. Maloney streaming down the ground from 40 metres. Mobile, Peter Lindsay gets the ball into the forward line, looking for Brett Evans. Evans gets oh, up yes. and takes a great grab, very strong. Red it back after a long spell, comes in, kicks from 50. The ball will hit the goal square. Lee's there for Nary, a big punch by Shepard of Keysborough. And Dwyer's been prayed the mark, he plays on and kicks the goal. No, the umpire is blowing time on. Comes in to kick. He kicks the ball. It's true. It's the 12th goal. It's uh, 75. That's 12 3 7. He's off quickly to his teammate in Maloney. Maloney sends the ball forward. Evans is up high but can't take the grab. Sticks O'Halloran overruns the ball. He gets it out to his teammate in Sewer. Sewer's oh. handballs over to Lee in the goal square. It'll be another goal of the Magpies. Jeff Lee finishing off some good work. Some great work in the pack there by Sticks O'Halloran. And that's the uh, Evans is there, but up it goes, hits the deck, picked up by O'Halloran, and O'Halloran oh, stays kicked at the local boy. Oh. He's put number 14 on. Sticks O'Halloran has put another goal for Nary, and that's number two for O'Halloran. And Nary go on to 14 goals. He goes back, he kicks the ball to a lead by Block. Block and Papa. Block has taken a one hander. What a beauty! He comes in, centers the ball to centre half four, looking for Dewey, but oh. Evans! The Birdman has taken a great grab. It's in a half. <laughs> you on Valium or what? <laughs> Good footy from the Pies as Evan comes in and lines it up. The goal umpire right. shifts slightly to his right hand side, but it's another goal of the Birdman. Yes, and Nary Warren now 15 12. 15 12, 102, leading Keysborough 8 19 67. 97 pinballs quickly up over to Donison. Donison over to Ian Atkinson. And the Nary runners are going streaming downfield. A long kick towards the Birdman. Is he there? He is. He's marked again. He's 45 metres out. 50 metres on. He's walking back to the 50 metre line. And the Birdman, three on the board. That It'll be a nice one then. to kick. It was all set up to report as desperation. Yeah, 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 just a great, great he, wears, he wears a good number too, number 14. That was my number. Oh. <laughs> Evans kicks for goal for 45 metres out, and guess what he's done? He's put another nail in the Burroughs coffin, and that's number four for uh, the Birdman. Six, number four. 16, 13, 109, 289, 67, 3 SER, 97.7. So both of the big cups have gone to interstate this weekend as Lee Ham balls over Papa into um, Nicholas. 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 He's got it. I think he's kicked the goal. That's yeah. the Magpie's 17th goal. 17, 13, 115 to 8, 19, 67. Steve Burke on the half-back line for the Magpies. Repels that attack. Robbie Kane picks it up for Keysborough. Ducks in, comes through, centres the ball to Lee Capsalis, who will take the grab, but it's no good. It's uh, the Magpies, uh, the South West Gippsland Football League Premiers for 1992. Yes, Nary Warren. 
Mary Warren, 17 14, 116, have defeated Keysborough, 9 20, 74, Gug Henwood. Yeah, great uh, performance. Is splashing. This is 97.7 FM. quarter he certainly was the difference Gug wasn't he? Yeah when he took that big grab as we mentioned he wasn't doing enough and he, he got up and took the grab and yeah, was right. terrific. And if anyone else give it away? Any McGill's uh, the president of Mary Warren, his wife, Chris McGill. Congratulations and happy with the way things have gone today. Oh, very relieved, Dennis. Thanks. It's been a lot of hard work. If you turn around, you'll be on your own video. Turn around. Oh, what? Yeah, up here What's on the video. Nice. Give a wave. That's it. Your video up here, a bit of a wave, because uh, I'm sure uh, during the week you'll play that a few times. No problem. Thank you. Okay, Darren Dwight, just uh, give him the headgear and uh, we'll, we'll have a word to him. Six to peak. How you going, mate? G'day, guys. How are you? Just stop nice smiling. <laughs> hey, congratulations. You've waited a long time for it, and you must be absolutely thrilled. Oh, mate. Oh, I don't know what to say, really. It's, uh, as you said, we've been here, you know, 12 years, and, you know, the committee done all the work to get these guys down here, because, as you know, we used to finish fifth, and it's just a brilliant feeling, mate. I think... Uh, it uh, helped us a little bit to come down here instead of playing at Berwick because you know how much we like playing down there, Gug. Yeah, we struggle a bit. <laughs> I, um, and uh, I'm sure when this is played in the rooms uh, over the next few weeks, it'll cause a big roar. So give the cup a bit of a lift there, mate. I'm sure it'll be played at the Helen Hotel tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Okay, congratulations oh, once again. and we'll